Hello everybody, welcome back to Teach Me to Science, and today we're going to be talking about the periodic table. If you've ever seen a periodic table before, then you know it's made up of these little boxes and they all have different letters in them. Each of these boxes represents a different element, and if you look closely at the table, you'll see that there are many different columns. These columns are called families of elements, and they're made up of elements that all have the same physical and chemical properties. They may also have the same charge, but this is not always the case. Here we have the elemental symbol of carbon, and there are a couple key things that I want to point out. So the first thing I want to point out is that the number designation at the very top of the elemental symbol is the number of protons that this atom has. The number of protons is what defines the element. If the element doesn't have six protons, then it's not carbon. Another important thing to notice is the number at the very bottom of the elemental symbol. This is called the mass number, or the atomic weight. The atomic weight tells you what the number of protons and neutrons are. So here we have a periodic table, and there are a couple key things to notice here on the periodic table. So there are several different groups or families that have specific names that are very important. The far left group is called the alkali metals. They are very reactive and they have a charge of plus one. The second group to the left is called the alkali earth metals. They have a positive two charge and are also very reactive. The group of elements in the middle is called the transition metals and they have charges which are very unpredictable. The transition metals also include the two very, very bottom rows on the periodic table which are kind of floating in space. Most of the transition metals can have multiple charges. However, if you're really stuck on a problem and can't figure out what the charge is, your best bet is to go with plus two. The group of elements second from the right are called the halogens. The halogens all have a minus one charge. To the right of the halogens is a group called the noble gases. The noble gases have a charge of zero. Because the noble gases have a charge of zero, they are very unreactive. On the right of the periodic table, you can see I've drawn something that looks kind of like a staircase. This is because this staircase, as it's called, represents the transition from metals to nonmetals. And that's all I have for today on the periodic table. Thank you for watching this video. This was just a brief introductory video to the periodic table. There are so many more cool things about the periodic table, so please stick around, subscribe to my channel so you can find out other cool things about the periodic table. I also have some very exciting new news to share with you. I recently opened an Etsy shop um, where I sell educationally themed stickers. Most of them are chemistry or science themed, so if you could please check them out. My Etsy shop is called Teach Me to Science with No Spaces. If you could check it out, I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Bye!